And joining us on the phone right now, Hampton Police Chief Alex Reno. Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon. Uh, you, you have some safety concerns going on at Hampton with this high tide event happening right now? We do. Uh, this water is definitely higher than what we saw on Wednesday. Uh, the larger concern as well is that those marsh waters generally lag about an hour past high tide before they reach their peak. So the, uh, the incoming water uh, is not going to stop uh, in those marsh areas uh, for a, a period of time. That's uh, interesting is, perspective. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, wa the water itself uh, is at a point to where uh, there's no access into the Hampton Beach area. And there's really no way out of the Hampton Beach area right now. So if you're in one of those areas, uh, we're uh, recommending that you find some high ground shelter in place uh, and wait until the waters recede. And uh, have you had to help with any rescue operations during this event? We have. There's been a number of people who have request, uh, requested high water rescue out of their residences. They've been brought up to the Hampton Academy, which is where our shelter is for this event. Interesting. Uh, in addition... In addition, we've had uh, recently just uh, had a call for service with a wave that's actually crashed through a window of a home and began flooding the water, uh, flooding the home with a resident inside. So it's been a very active uh, event for uh, rescue personnel. Can you describe how your crews are accessing these people who are needing to be rescued from high water? So we've received some assistance from the Rockingham County Sheriff's Department who provided us with a high water vehicle. Uh, we also have a vehicle that we use for high water. Uh, that's staffed with police officers and fire personnel, and uh, that's really the, the best way for us to gain access to these high water areas right now. Uh, and our fire department also has one of their inflatable boats in the back of one of those so that we can get to the even higher areas if need be. And Chief, how would you rank this in terms of what you've observed over the years with high tide and, and the ocean breaching the seawall, things like that? Well, I've seen high water before. Uh, I've seen the water coming over the wall maybe a little bit more uh, at, at one point, but this flooding otherwise uh, is probably the highest that I've seen in the 22 years that I've been here. Uh, the water has actually breached the bays of the beach fire station uh, and is up to the stairwell of the uh, police station down there, and I haven't seen it come up that high before. Wow. And are you able to offer any kind of timeline to people in that area on when they may be able to get back onto their roads or back toward their homes? You know, our hope was that the water would start receding by about 2 or 3 o'clock. Um, with the water being as high as it is right now, we don't have a high level of confidence that that will happen. Uh, however, we are uh, posting things regularly on our social media as we open uh, some of these roadways. Uh, we'll, we'll be sure to put that uh, information out to the public. Yeah, that's such a great resource. Chief Reno, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you. Stay safe.